Are ADHD medications addictive? I'm going to give you my perspective as a mom who has three kids who take ADHD medications and my husband as well who's on ADHD medication. And it's a little bit different than the perspective that most people hear, but I think it's valuable because a lot of parents are afraid to get their kids started on a medication thinking they're going to be addicted to it and therefore they're going to keep needing it all the time. So I just want to offer my perspective there. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a mom of six and I love to help neurodivergent families travel and enjoy life with each other. So are ADHD meds really addictive? I think the answer to that is nuanced. Um, there are surely neurotypical people who do get addicted to them. And I would say that that's obviously a possibility, even for those who are neurodivergent who do have ADHD. But here's what I've noticed. Um, I've spent a lot of time around people who are either in an active addiction or who are married to or deeply connected to someone in an addiction. And when someone is in an addiction, their whole life revolves around getting a fix. Their whole, like they're planning for it, they're, especially when they're in an active addiction. I'm not talking about someone who is in recovery and working on it, but their whole life revolves around how can I make my fix happen? How can I obtain what I need? How can I arrange my schedule in a way that allows me to get this? And once they get the hit, they need to keep getting more and more for it to be able to have the same effect. And this is kind of a constant process. So they're constantly in a process of, I gotta obtain it and I need it to be able to function. Okay, here's what happens in our home with ADHD medications. My kids and husband tend to forget to take them. And it doesn't matter that they've been taking them for several years now they will still, all three, all four of them, have times where they forget to take it or where it finishes working, because some of them are on the short acting doses that have only last about four hours. It finishes working and they don't even necessarily notice. And I have to come find them and say, hey, did you take your medication? Because I start to notice that they are spacing out more or that they are forgetting to do things that they said they were gonna do or that they are so hyper-focused that they've forgotten they need to eat. They're so hyper-focused that something has burned on the stove. It's that level of, I'm so intensely focused on something. And medication moderates that, and it's noticeable when they take it. And to those of us on the outside not taking it, it's noticeable when they don't take it. But here's the thing, <laughs> my kids and even my husband regularly have to be reminded to take their medication. If this was an addiction issue, if they were becoming addicted to it, that wouldn't be the case. And a lot of families that I've talked to who are dealing with ADHD in their household who have tried medication will say the same thing, that their kids forget to take it, that they can go the whole day without thinking about the fact they haven't taken their medication in spite of actual consequences, things falling to pieces, stuff they forgot to do, assignments they've forgotten, or getting lost in a book for two hours and not even noticing that lunch was called and they didn't go down and lunch has been put away and suddenly three hours later they're hungry and like, oh, when did lunch happen? Well, we had it and put it away. Did you not hear us? Oh yeah, I was in my room reading my book. That is not addictive behavior. That is not the behavior of someone who is addicted to the medication. And so to me, asking the question, is ADHD medication addictive? You really have to clarify to who? To those who need it? To those who find it effective for managing their ADHD? Typically it's not addictive because if it was addictive, they would actually remember to take it and their whole brain would be focused on getting it and taking it. And you know what? That's not what happens. I mean, they will get down to having none and have to call the doctor and realize that the doctor can't get back to them immediately and they will run out and they will be out for a whole week because they didn't even realize they were getting close to the end. They didn't plan far enough ahead. And again, if this was actually an addiction, that wouldn't be happening. Addicts, like I said, their total focus is on getting that medication. So. If you're a parent and you're considering letting your kid try ADHD medication, I just want to offer that perspective as something to think about. That the reality is, if your child actually has ADHD and is taking medication or and is and has, wants to try medication, or even if you're an adult and you haven't tried ADHD medication, 
the chances of you getting addicted to it are pretty slim if you actually have ADHD. <laughs> it's not that it can't happen, but if you have ADHD and if it actually is successful in helping you manage your ADHD, I would say the chances of becoming addicted, especially if you're working with a medical professional in diagnosing it and treating it appropriately, they're pretty slim and the benefits are huge. So I hope that, that gives some reassurance to parents or to adults who are late diagnosed who are thinking about trying it because it's a lot easier for my kids and my husband to forget to take their medication than it is for them to remember. It just, it doesn't end up being addictive in that same way. So I hope that's helpful.